the very dignified start to Super Auto Pets. We're playing the weekly today. The casino's already running. Kiss is on stage in the Psycho Circus. Okay, I, I've, I wouldn't say I've solved this weekly, but I have like a, a formula now for like how to handle it. And let me tell you, early on, you want stats. There's some, like, pack one, I really think, you choose your archetype in the early game. You try to get level two, level three units. You get penguins, you get monkeys, you scale. Like, the, 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 the pivot point is, like, round three on pack one. On pack two, the pivot point is, like, a little bit later. You know, you're looking for maybe a caterpillar, maybe a buffalo or something like that. In, in the new expansion pack, I don't really know where the pivot point is right now. But in this, the pivot point is somewhere in the mid game. If you go all in in the mid game, because scaling is so rare, you can actually, um, like, it's more important than your squad in the late game. That's my analysis thus far. Um, like, round six, seven, that's when you're, you're starting to look to get your team solidified, in my opinion. Maybe a little later, because I just came up with that number off the top of my head, but... Okay, let's be, um, there's a lot of good ones here. I mean, Salty Boogeyman. It doesn't sound like a, uh, like a monster. It just sounds like a guy who's picking his darn nose. You know what I mean? But there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Also, moths. I kind of believe the moth is like, one of the best to ever do it. Now the question is, do I want to go all in on a moth here? Yeah, I think I, I think I could freeze you. I think I could run. Now usually the problem is early. The moths will uh, lose. Well, they'll not lose, but they'll draw with other moths. So prepare yourself for that. But if they don't have a moth, then we get an easy two for one. We probably win these. Yeah, this seems right. Moth plus cockroach. I, I've seen it. I've used it. I think it is good. Start me here, though. This is, I mean, it's an amazing start so far. Moth turtle doesn't necessarily work that well, but... I also don't think the blowfish is, is all that in the bag of potato chips anymore, but I do think you're probably going to just roll... I think it was straight off the bat here. You're probably just gonna run like a six-two turtle, seven-two turtle. Yeah, this seems this seems totally fine. We're right where we want to be on like the power curve right now. You're gonna steal my turtle's faint ability, which is unfortunate but understandable. I mean, everybody wants to rule the world. I've I've heard this from many authoritative sources. It's all right, dude. That's not that bad. We might draw this. How frequently do you shave your head? Um, not as often as I want to. I'm actually going to commit to trying to get another level. Give me one of these. And you know what? You should take more attack because you're inheriting the melon armor anyway. <clears throat> I, uh, I would like to be a 2x weekly. But I would say that I, I'm probably... A, I'm probably a 1x weekly right now, as time is at, like, a little bit of a premium. I would like to do it more often, though. Now, let me tell you, I think a hatching chick can kind of go. Turtle doesn't need more attack. I would freeze you for a second. I want to see. I want to maximize our chances of getting a level up first. Now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna break that. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to actually try to create a super turtle. I'm going to make our turtle as tanky as possible because it's inheriting six extra attack. I'm going to sell our marmoset. I'm gonna roll once, and then I'm gonna sell our marmoset. Nothing spectacular. I'm going to create a super seahorse, and I feel pretty good about this. Three to four, gang. Here we go. I don't know. I'm like, I'm looking pretty... I, I'm feeling very good about the way that things have started here. We don't... They, like, don't even be like Pog. We move their horse. We didn't need to move their horse to beat them on this one. Let 
This is what we want. We wanted a level. I don't I would prefer not to take it right now. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Don't respect them. How about one of these? And then I don't want the level yet. I think you focus on your roles. Don't even want a level three seahorse ever. Okay. This is a this is the scary round, okay? After we make it through this, I wouldn't say smooth say, uh, smooth scaling, but I would say smoother scaling. I mean, this is a dream come true. All losses, there's no chance. I'm just letting you know. Like we're, I'm not saying we're going perfect, but everything's looking pretty fantastic right here. So, I, I prefer your five five to whatever we'd get out of an extra moth here. But let's let's throw one moth onto the hopper. Could we sell a mosquito? Two, one damage to two enemies is more of like a melon popper. We would sell that. Get a lynx out there. And then honestly, so you're getting six extra. Six extra attack. Oh, you know what? We'll just broccoli you because there's literally like no negative to it. Now you become a 7-10. The, the most powerful split in bowling. Okay, let's be real. That uh, that cockroach is pretty scary. This is also a build unlike any I've ever seen before. Who is Zeely? Zeely, what's your Twitch channel? This is a... I, I, I want to like... I want to see what you're saying in the lab. <laughs> Crab meat, cockroach meat, owl, moth with a cucumber. That's interesting. It gets the people going. I still love this team. We do, you know what? Okay, while we're here, sure. I mean, it's basically like buying a targeted apple. I also think this is fine. Are really just gonna? I'm basically just gonna give you three attack for nothing. No, because you have a melon. I think actually you benefit the most from from getting the extra attack here. You're probably gonna get to attack more than once. Ten still looking okay, man. Don't get it twisted. You've stolen my melon armor, which might not be that bad, because it's gonna go straight to the blowfish, which is irrelevant for you. Ah, oh, but you made it level three. Was that a level three aardvark? Holy cow. All right, well, you've used my my power against me and I respect you for it. Um, keep buffing the seahorse, but I will admit I've lost more confidence than I, than I thought I would. You're doing... Seven damage to a random enemy at the start of battle. I think that we could look at a skunk as being better than that. And you know what? The stew... I don't think that's that bad. That's probably not the, the vote of confidence you're looking for right now, but... We're looking okay. We're looking okay. We break your melon armor. We kill you. you we're back in the saddle. Okay. No sweat, the math works out perfectly. I'm, I've also become a, a genuine believer in the grape. It's not always going to be what you need, but, but sometimes it's going to hit you in the right spot. Now, if we're rolling... It, the, the problem is, like I think a moose <clears throat> makes a lot of sense. The only question is where you put it. Even at like a 2-2 buff, that's basically what we want out of a level 2 hatching chick. If you put it to buff the seahorse, the moose gets the turtle's melon armor, which is not that effective. If you use it here instead, you're buffing a skunk. A skunk with a 2-2 buff is like not that valuable. But I do think I'd rather... Am I going to roll this and hope we don't get a level 1? I think I'm going to I'm going to minimize my risk. It worked out fine just for the record. Haters will say this is fake. Whatever we get out of the moose, I think we should start treating the moose as like don't build your rolls around it. Just accept it as like a, pa a a passive scaler. And if you can do that, you're going to be okay. We're going to crush this team. 
Never mind. They have a lemon. They're going to destroy us. This is the most incredible lemon I've ever seen. They, they crushed us so easily. It wasn't even close. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> they destroyed us. <laughs> I would freeze a, a six and a five anyway. I wouldn't freeze the four. Take a pair. How are we doing this? How are we going to... You know, you know what? The number one thing we need, we need a level two turtle. We need a level two skunk. We should keep everything available for a roll. Take a pizza. I mean, it, as soon as you start leaning into like food meta like this, you know you're probably in trouble, but... I would honestly say just take a pair and then our skunk is going to get a 2-2 buff. It's pretty weak, but... I mean, return 11, this doesn't seem that bad. Maybe we should have pivoted to, like, cat, man. The hell is going on? The cruelest dream reality? Say it ain't so. Yeah, we are dead. Should have taken cat. So true, then we could have lost with a cat on our team. Um, okay, pay out the sixes. I honestly thought that team was doing a little bit better, but that's a reasonably good start. Run me back. Start prediction. How many wins will NL get this time? So what we want to see... I'll take a mosquito. I want to see a cockroach, man. This is uh, horrendous. I would rather have a 3-1 than a 2-1. Get a little desync error. Um... This is not a good start. I'll be, uh, how about a bad, a bad auntie? They've had bad moms and bad moms Christmas. Nobody's even touched on the ants yet. When are the ants gonna get their, their day in the sun? That's true, we've also had bad grandpas. What, do you get it on... We'll trigger on cell at level 2. Okay, against my better judgment, take one of those. I don't think that could have gone much better. Where's all the bad dads? Well, like, here's the thing. A bad mom movie is kind of fun. Because, like, Hollywood's idea of a bad mom is not like I, Tanya. It's like... She goes to work. She uh, takes care of her kids, like, really well. Um, but then, like, on the weekend, she has, like, one too many white Zinfandels. A bad dad is actually, like, the start of a movie about a kid who grows up to become a serial killer. Like, instead of being kind of, like, fun and, like, do you want to be bad and let's share uh, some jalapeno poppers at happy hour? It's like, he wasn't there for me. <laughs> he locked me in my room and, you know... Chain smoked meth while watching uh, live PD. It, so, like Austin Powers, daddy wasn't there. And even when he was there, he wasn't really there. This is interesting. The worst part about an ox is that its stats are kind of bad now. But what if you do something like this? Now, all of a sudden, you have an ox that ain't so bad. I don't think we should invest in you. I wouldn't mind if you got the level up at some point, but we don't want to... Yeah, okay, this is fine. I think... I don't know. The pug, I think, is interesting enough as a 5-2 to try it. And then you're going to trigger on sell, which is interesting. I have to think about, about what I want to do with this, but it is interesting at the very least. When you upgrade, it's, if you scale with health, may, is this, you're right, now it won't swap stats. <laughs> well, actually, maybe that's not so bad. Because we can have you lead, which is what you should do in the first place, and then you can slightly buff our ox. I'm like, I think a wasp is like so bad, but when we, if we sell you to turn a wasp into... A 4-4 four, four, or a 5-2. And then it gets 50% even more attack from that. But isn't... Wait, the shop... The, the shop upgrades happen on odd-numbered turns. Is that correct? Uh, 
Uh, so we have turns. We can wait. Okay, I don't, I don't dislike this. And then we just need to get some lollipops. I'm alive. I'm not even scared at how alive I am. Look at this. Ooh, oh, that dude! The ox is hard. Okay. Now, you have to sell your marmoset. Another pug. Okay. My brother in Christ, you've been playing sap for like a year? Well, fuck me for asking questions, I guess. I guess instead of rubber duck debugging, I'll just keep my mouth shut like Bill in IT. And then when I accidentally uh, introduce a vulnerability that collapses your online banking, you can uh, spend five hours on the customer support line wishing you kept your mouth shut earlier. They added a watching without audio tag just for you, okay? We want the moth. I want, on this turn, I want you to have the highest stats possible. I actually can, if I'm being real with you, would I really buy you this just to sell into it? And then, yeah, I think I, I think I would. Okay, you ready? One of these gets sold. You become a 6-3, which is going to make you a 9-3 next turn. I'm going in. I'm still, I'm going in. I'm rolling. Doesn't seem necessary to me, strictly speaking. I'm selling. I'm buying. It's weird. It's certainly atypical. And that's, that's why I'm here. That's what I'm here for. Man, if you had killed that crab early. Oh, man. If you had killed that crab early. Do I have faint triggers? I don't think so. We still win this. Okay. Okay. Now you're a 10-4. Good buddy. I feel like I should freeze a lollipop just for a while. Like, I feel like I could put a cucumber on you. Freeze a lollipop for a minute. You get a buff. Okay, this now we got some interesting... Okay, you know what? The lollipop's gone. We'll get it later. Because you're going to get sold. You're going to get this. We're going to get a dragonfly to scale us slightly. Now, the problem is a dragonfly... We want the wasp to be here so that you get the buff. You're going to give something level 2. I want you to give... Yes, I want you to make the ox into a level 2. I don't really believe in the mosquito happening here. Peach is kind of close. Starfish I don't really see either. I'm, I'm very okay with this team right now. It doesn't mean we're guaranteed to win. It just means I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still feeling pretty good, quite frankly. Everyone's like, this team's ass. Yeah, well, it's so ass, it's actually, like, um, easily dominating. Four wins, no losses. Might be ass later, but it's kicking your ass right now. Next round, you're going to go to 18. I would rather freeze a lollipop and wait on that one. Or would I? Maybe we'd rather... Let me, let me run this through for a second. We got a couple of things to think about. I could take you to a 15-6. That would then take you to like a 22-6. No, that would... Yes, that's correct. <laughs> or I could take you to a 7-12... There's too many things to think about. I'm like, do I shrimp lollipop or lollipop shrimp? I think you do a 7-12. Then I could take you to a 10-11, which would make you a 15-11. Or I could make you a 15-6, become a 6-15, and then you'll be like a 9-15. I think we wait around... 
I think we juice your attack a little more. We look for some more foods. I, I, I wouldn't be averse to this if I have to. That's not the food we're looking for, obviously. That's not the food we're looking for. So for now, I would still... I don't know. I, just take this for now, but I'll freeze you regardless. The buffs are still coming in. The rock is definitely in the building. Thank you for moving my wasp into a more effective position. I want you to know it was only placed in that nightmare position in order to maximize the dragonfly buff. Okay, now you're at 20, an 824. I think the time has come for the swap. Or you're 24-8, I should say. But... And then... Sell me. Now, the eagle is good in front of this level 2 ox. But we got to think about it because it could spit out something that would spit out something. Like, we could, we could get too much out of this. And we could also have the pug buff the eagle. But it screws up our order. Because to have the pug buff the eagle, we have to move... Well, actually, it really doesn't matter if we move the dragonfly. It does suck that we're buffing the pug instead of the ox. But, well, you know what? We can solve two problems at once. Dragonfly at the front. Pug buffs eagle. Now the dragonfly... No, it's still going to buff the pug. That's okay. I think it's totally fine. I wish it was better, but it's still fine. I think you take this. Just thinking. You know what? No. I think for now, we might change this in a minute. But for now, I'd rather get two ox triggers. I think that means more than, than what we had set up. What the is it's Zeely again? It's Zeely. We can do this. We're still going. Still cruising. Still hip with it. No problems. Six wins. Definitely you take one of these. I don't know if we need another pug. I, I would say just chill on it for a second here. I would rather have a pair. I would rather roll here. Still the pug, okay. I mean, it's, there's an int it's tempting. There's some temptingness. One, one to a pet of each level. So you're giving two, two buffs every turn. Honestly, at this point, with good foods showing up, getting out of here, you should have bought a squirrel. And now we can put a wasp at the front in case the eagle spits out a spawner. Dude, there must have been like a YouTube video or something that was like the most underrated animal in the pack is a, is a cockroach because we're getting nonstop cockroaches and I am loving it. I am winning. Okay. Cheap stew is kind of a gimme. We should have sold the pug first. <laughs> it's like a sell me. Check this out. Check out this play. Sell me. You don't really need to level yet. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. And we get a one-cost chocolate next turn. I could I could live with, with both of these being on the squad. I don't know if those freezes are going to screw it up a little. I'm hoping not. Okay, this, I'll admit, this is a little bit of a scary team. Or is it? Maybe it's... Actually, I want to go back where I said it was a scary team. I'd like to rebuke that. It's not scary at all. Okay, you cost one gold. You should probably still go on the wasp. You cost one gold. That's amazing. This is incredible. The wasp is already scaling. Like, next round, you're going to be a 44-35. So why don't we scale something else? Why don't we scale 
an ox that is doing well by inheriting melon armor. Now, the carrot costs one gold. I mean, that's insanely good. Why don't we put that on our ox as well? Now, you cost two gold. That's still pretty good. Wasp is done. Next round is the tier six upgrade, right? We we only we got a sneak preview here. That's correct. See chat, that's correct. Hold on, I gotta think about things. All right. Um, I could put this on you, but I also think combine, buy, sell, level two squirrel kind of interests me more so we have some space. And the gold is at a little bit of a it's a it's a at a bit of a precious premium right now. I guess actually we're not gonna worry about a level two squirrel on this turn because we we're, we're too gold uh, dependent. I can't take the cow as much as I wish I could. Now you're interesting. I'll keep you around for a second. You're about to get added to the squad. You're going to stay frozen. This is still very good. <clears throat> Should have taken shrimp. It's an interesting uh, way to out yourself as a doubter. Say something ridiculous like you should have taken shrimp. I'm still feeling okay. I'm, I'm feeling amazing. That takes us to nine. Two gold, two gold, two gold. Okay. Well, this is a just in case me. I'm hoping we won't have to need it, but we might. And then I think your ox, you wanted to get a little, a little zuzzy with it. I think you still want to buff your ox. I think you still want to, you know, buff your ox. We have one excess gold. I didn't think about that. We don't really need another one of these. We'll freeze two amazing foods. Pass turn. It's interesting, the wasp. The math just works, baby! <laughs> oh, baby! Well, it's not quite flawless, but I'm pretty proud of this one. Because, uh, like, this is not a typical team, man. Squirrel, wasp in particular? Very interesting. Wasp, most underrated unit? Wait, no, did I already publish the video that said the starfish is the most underrated unit? Because now I gotta publish a video that says wasp is most underrated unit? So many mistakes, and yet you somehow still made it. Are you the same guy who, on every picture of Megan Fox, posts like, man, her thumbs are so weird? Like, I know this was flawless, but did you see all the flaws in that run? Zebra 68 thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. How many wins will NL get this time? Wa Never mind the starfish, though. Wasp is actually the most underrated unit. By the way, we did that with a frog, too. How crazy is that? I know I shouldn't, but there's a part of me that says I have to. Broken fingers. I mean, that's just perfect. This is not going to be flawless. We're going to lose round one. I don't know if it's possible for us to win round one. <laughs> I don't... We would have to play a team that was just like two moths or something. Now, this video is about to be about this frog. No doubt. Ribbit. Ribbit. I don't really want to give you, like, a, a honey, because I know I'm just going to sell you. I, I Believe it or not, I think you just, you bet on the the rolls instead. I don't really like any of these units either, quite frankly. What is the, the level 3 unit? What What does a level 3 frog do now? Because they've changed it a thousand times. It does it at end of turn! Holy cow! All right. Um, well, maybe we're not going to sell it then. Maybe we're going to um, give it a quick fried shrimp. And then level. Uh, 
Look. Oh my god. We we're owed a chance to make this work, okay? We're we're owed it. Please give me a chance. I know it's it's an insane meme team, but imagine, man, imagine. The ox is is the kind of stability we need on our team right now. Sure, if I if I have to, I'll take a mosquito. Now I don't want to swap any. You know what? I do want to swap your stats actually. How is this? So you're gonna. You're going to become a 4-5, you're going to become a 1-3. That's great. What the heck's going to happen to you? Nothing. That's beautiful. Maybe we actually want to, now that I think about it, we want to swap you and you. It, it, just give me a second here. Because, like, now... So you're going to go first. You're going to turn this 2-2 two -two into a 3-1, and you're going to turn this 3-1 into a 2-2. Two -two. Then you're going to go, and you're going to turn the frog into a 1-3, and the ox into a 9-4. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, level 2 frog only does it on south, but that's still, it's fine. It's even, it, that's even better. It, it actually simplifies it even more. That we needed an ox. Just to, like we needed a unit to, to stabilize us so we can get a chance for this team to do something. Now our scampy has to actually be able to do something as well. Like I think you gotta start looking I mean the swapping for the ox is very valuable. Like I wanna but I love the swap. Mm, ah, okay, I think we gotta forget the swapping of stats and instead Invest in just the ox getting as much HP as possible via having two of these guys. Now, do we have cell triggers? Yeah, probably not like the best ones in the world, but so be it. Starfish would really pop off here. Can you just give some HP to my ox? Well, be careful what you wish for. Please. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's exactly more than enough. Let's go, dude. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't sell an ox, so don't be stupid. Buy me, buy me. Sell me. Buff your ox. Buy me. Sell me. <sighs> I'm not taking the dog, okay? The ox is doing wonders for us. I wouldn't besmirch it. I mean, I'll, I'll put you right here for now, and then, like, honestly, if you're sticking, why don't you take the extra HP for now? I'm not selling the ox! It's, it is the same shit everyone was saying last time. Sell the ox. Oh, it only guaranteed you that flawless you got last time. Just get rid of it. You're, you're crazy. The ox is the only reason we're alive right now. Okay, I mean, obviously, this is a combine. This is a buy. This is a sell. We don't... Re we want a level 3 frog, but we don't need it right now. Like it... Oh, hello, stands, by the way. Now I'm nervous. We're being watched by a true pro. We don't want to swap the Ox's stats right now. Let's get the starfish popping first. You're not a sell ability. I want buy sells. For once, we, I, I, though it was surprising to me, we actually have some HP, which is like almost unbelievable. You're a sell ability. I love to see this, dude. I love to see this.
Go ahead, hurt me. It only makes me that much stronger. Okay, their team's probably better. It's definitely better, but not by much. We can still do this. It's a cell. Forget the garlic. I'm a, I'm a buy sell guy, especially because lemon's coming soon. Buy me. Buff me. I'm willing to do it. Buy me. Sell me. Holy cow. Buy me. Sell me. Buff me. Freeze me. Although, you know what? Kangaroo could work for a second here. What about a Lynx? You know what? Here's my hypothesis. Lynx is uh, just fun. So, we, we prioritize fun around here sometimes. You wouldn't. Quite frankly, I don't, I don't think you would. I think we're going to be fine. I don't know if we're getting to 10, but I think, I think we're going to be fine for now. That takes us to four. Sorry to the three, gang. Unless you were out here being a hater, in which case you're welcome. Lemon worth freezing, in my opinion. Hold me. We have no buy cells. Give this frog a lemon. We can start to talk about it. Quick little snipe. Big whoop. You snipe me, snipe me, snipe you. Snipe me, snipe you. Can you believe this? Five wins. Add me, sell me. Buy me. We need grapes. Once the grapes show up... I mean, you know the name of the book. You don't need me to tell you. I would love to see a sellable here. With no sellability. I mean, if you have... I think you can just place a hawk if you have to. You're a sellable. Freeze me for next round. I'd rather have the hawk out there cause, just because we're on lethal. My favorite actor from Moon Knight, Lethal Hawk. Lethan Hawk. In the, in the Richard Linkletter before trilogy. There's a grape. You're absolutely right. I was, I was too focused on how to pronounce Richard Linkletter's name. Is it Linkletter? Is it Linklater? Nobody knows, man. Nobody knows. Okay, we're actually dead. Yes, we're super dead. Oh, well. We had fun with it. What was that, five? Five wins? I thought we could have done better, too. I guess the beauty is that the grape wouldn't have saved us. Okay. Considering how psychotic that build was, I think we had a great time. You know, it, 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 this is not my, my dream situation, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's not that bad. Okay. I'm not like a horse guy. <laughs> Get yourself in a lot of trouble with this one. Let's just put Hot Millionaire. Like that guy from uh, Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire? Do you remember that show? It brought Darva Conger into the public consciousness. A lot of bad things happened on that show. On the other hand, it did bring Darva Conger into the public consciousness. Which many people are saying. Take this. I just think a moth is good enough. You don't, don't, don't try to make the team too precious. Who? Who? Snoop Dogg GIF? Who? We win these. This feels fantastic. This feels good. I'm playing too fast. I've just noticed that about myself. What if we allowed a 5-3 to flourish a little bit? Probably add a moth for future level ups. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with this.
No sweat. It's perfect. We're gonna. We're gonna draw. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna draw. Yeah. Has NL paid out the wrong side on the new casino? No, and that's an interesting phenomenon, isn't it? When the casino was simple, I think it created a series of overconfidences, which led to me not paying attention when I paid out, and I paid out the wrong bets maybe 5% of the time. It's never happened on the new casino because I'm putting so much scrutiny on it right now. So I think the time has come to unwind this horse, cricket, dragon dependency. I don't think it's doing enough for us yet. We didn't get all the enablers we needed, which is fine. We're still doing very well. You sell the cricket to start the unwinding. Add a yak. Give the yak a little HP. Give the yak a lot of HP. Now it becomes an incredible substrate for the moth. I don't want to continue on the horse meta here. I'm done with it. Now, I do. I think it's a little late for a peacock. I think our next play is we're, we're looking at what our next units are. Like the next shop upgrade. This seems sensible to me. It seems understandable to me. We got maybe a little lucky that that's not a sheep, so I'll take it. Not everything can be perfect. Like, this is our spicy pivot. I think you definitely have to go. And you, you can be as mad about this as you want. This is the way it has to be, okay? Whatever you buff, you buff. There's no sheep in the pack. You know the sheep can still be summoned from a spider. I think. River Otter, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Is that true? Do we have that confirmed? Has it been data mined? Only animals from the pack can be summoned within the spider on the weekly pack? Look, I'll accept like two falses, okay? Everybody else is just typing false because they saw false from the person above them. I'll accept two of those. I'm not going to feel emotionally bad for like all... 500 falses that are coming out here because 498 of them are ill-gotten gains. They're inadmissible as evidence in chat court. I'm just going to try you for a minute. I just want to see what you got. Now, I got to tell you, I also feel like the ox has been doing some incredible stuff for us. Just on its own merits, I'm willing to add it just on its own merits. And Scherf Boy, thank you as well. Thank you. We're going to die. This mosquito is very strong. Can I tell you something? Not only is this mosquito strong, but they have a shrimp. So obviously their shrimp is, uh, is good. Obviously, Scampy is goaded in this pack. And if you can't see it, you're part of the problem. Okay. We've successfully unwound uh, all of our faint reliability, and it cost us a loss, which is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fair price to pay, maybe. Now, I'm not a big uh, Emperor Tamarin guy. Give 100%. You know, it's like you can hang for a bit. And then I could create like a like a superb yak to throw over. I don't really know. I think an armadillo is just kind of like pure anus. Another emperor tamarin is more likely than you think. Another two emperor tamarins. I don't know what's happening. This is. Getting too much of any one unit is just like, like I'm gonna die. <laughs> Cause I can't help myself but like commit to it. Are we on lethal? Not on lethal. Okay, so that means we can, we can let the absurdity go even a little bit further. 
Okay, this is not going to be the most popular decision that you're ever going to see. But we have to try. I love it. Let me guess. You bet on like uh, three wins? I don't know. Are we on three? Are we past three? What are we doing? Are we human? Are we dancer? Etc. Etc. I bet ten. Okay. Well, then you're in for a world of hurt probably. But imagine how thrilling it would be if we did it. Okay. You got to go. I don't really care who you buff, but like then I'm going to invest in you and then like immediately sell you, which is insane. And yet here we are living in an insane world. Then you're going to get a turkey so that he gets even more buffed when he comes out. Now, all of a sudden, I mean, this is a pretty good yak. It's a 1625 yak. Then you buy this and sell this. You buff the yak yet again. You buy a starfish just because you can. Or just because you got to, more like. 1826 yak with garlic. The rest of the squad, pure ass. Well, I would say it's not an ideal start. <laughs> so we fought a team, like, engineered to beat our team perfectly. Okay, two wins. Holy cow. Dude! People who bet on two just went 107x on their points. Holy cow. You did get a level three Tamarin badge, though. You know what? You know what? It's in the ease, isn't it? That makes perfect sense. There he is. There he is. How many wins will we get this time? So you're telling me Emperor is like actually in um, like his species name. It's not like a title. He's not like the king of the jungle. His, his species name is Emperor Tamarin. Like an Emperor Penguin. I thought he was just like a, he was the best to ever do it. Okay, round one, who cares? You're trying, and I respect that, but no, I will not. Please stop giving me this, like, incredibly cursed horse build. I'm gonna, like, crap my pants. I, what I want, and I believe that we will have a moth show up at some point. That's why I'm choosing to buff this cockroach's HP. It's also the best unit we presently hold. Which is sad enough in its own right. Round two, also not going anywhere for us. Just a single moth. Maybe like three moths. Maybe like five moths. I think we have to accept that things are going to suck for a bit here. We take our chances on the level up. Okay. We might as well still level now. That's not a unit I would have been stoked to have anyway. Keep a meat for a cockroach. That's something we're seeing a lot of lately. Cricket we don't care for. I can't stand this pack. I don't know. It seems like a personal problem. We've been having some pretty good... Uh, some pretty fun runs. We're drawing. That's not so bad. A moth. Now things are getting somewhere. You take this. You get frozen. Eh, probably you get sold first. You get added. You get placed. We don't. Eh, although, you know what? To have you get a level... No, okay. So now, forget that. No, you know what? Don't forget that. Sell the mosquito. Although, if it shoots a moth, it'd be nice... No, but okay. We can play the what-if game all day. Put a second moth out there. Keep the Marmoset frozen. No, now we unfreeze the Marmoset because we have a guaranteed level from the mouse, which we can then sell for two apples. Okay, okay. Now there's something. That was a, a complicated shop to tease apart there, but I'm, I'm not feeling so bad. Of course, we just get blown out by another moth. 
But this is where it can actually do something. You level. We have to try. Sell me. And then look at this team. Look at it. We don't need... The problem is we can't buff a cockroach with the, with the two apples. It's not relevant. I think that the microbe is also not relevant. We need to find a unit to build on. And it does not exist yet. And you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and say that's okay. We could, in, in the future, in theory, I think, we could probably build on a dodo. Um, but it's... What is this? <laughs> they're going to beat me? I've never seen a squad like this before, and they're going to beat me? All right. Are we on lethal? Yes. All right. Very spooky. This is a spooky one. Don't get any bonus points for saying that this one's spooky. It's obviously spooky. Sell me. You buff the dodo this time. Level 2 dodo. Needed to happen. You know what? Toss me a lynx. Keep a dodo around. Level 3 dodo possible, maybe? If we live long enough? The math just barely worked out. Is it enough? It's enough. Okay, I told you we're not necessarily dead. <laughs> we just have to never face an amazing team. Turtle doesn't really work here. I wish it did. It doesn't really. Freeze me. Skunk is going to be good. Don't get me wrong, but... I think you just got you just got to go deeper in on the dodo here. The dodo, we want the dodo ideally to be a good unit and create a good unit. And right now it's kind of doing this. The real meat of the dodo is is not its buff right now, which is pretty rare. Save. The real meat of the dodo is its stats. Buff the dodo. Two wins. We at least made it out of like the worst. I'm going to combine. I'm going to buy. I'm not going to sell yet. Honestly, why don't you take a little cucumber in this situation? Nine gang, not looking good. But, you know. Sir, at least it's not one to two, man. That's a huge improvement for, for where I thought I would be. Now we get to three. Okay. Don't even think about it. Sell me. It's a nice buy that gives us a level up as well. Makes a friend behind level three. Okay. I mean, I would love to get you to go before the links. We could get you to go before the moth. I think either way, it's like worth adding you. And if we can raise your attack above the links, we can move you. Sure. You know, it's actually, it's actually doable. Freeze this for a second. Look at the squad. Yeah, let's do it this way. Not now. Not not when we have hope. Oh, we killed the turkey. The saber tooth's not doing anything. What what happened to my team? What happened to my team? I had a team. I had a team at some point. I had a team at some point. We draw these. Okay, okay. Now, it doesn't have to be a lynx. It could be a level 3 anything. Like a level 3 eagle. Level two. I, don't, I don't see a level 3 armadillo, but I do see a level 3 eagle. So what you're, you're already becoming... You're, you're becoming strong enough to one for one. You have to go. Keep the lynx for just a second. Then run the eagle. Sure, right here. Why not? I still think some stew works. Obviously, like, some lemons are this pretty good, too. Don't get me wrong. Don't want any of these to be level 3. I don't really care to continue leveling you. Honestly, if I'm being straight up with you, a level 3 turtle is kind of nuts. What about a regular eagle and then just three melon armors from a turtle? Yeah. 
nah, nah. The problem, there's so many like level three gets from like an eagle that don't do anything for us. Eagle's more fun though. You know, when you put it that way, that's definitely true. All I needed was, was for someone to say to me that it's more fun this way. And that's true. Now, you better spit out like an octopus or something, though. Don't make me look like a damn fool. Wow, that was so much fun. I'm sure... Okay, I'm not salty because we won, but like... If, if I was salty... If I did it. Okay, hold on. You know, if you're going to stick around, why don't you take one of these? Why don't you... Probably would rather have Melon on a Dodo, honestly. Even though it doesn't have that much HP. You know what? You take this, okay? Then obviously cow me. You can still do this, though. Then sell me. No, don't sell me. You're a 4-6. Just chill. Live your life. More Melons for the future. Okay. Who would have thought we'd have a chance at 5 at the very least? That's insanely bad. No, it's amazing. It's incredible. You're right. It was more fun. Okay. Amazing play. I definitely think you're right that we can talk about a cockroach leaving. There, what, what if we ran tiger behind eagle? So it, wouldn't it spit out a level three and a level one? Now, realistically, you would probably sell the cow first. <laughs> and we're still doing things in the right order because the dodo is buffing the unit with the most HP. We, Because here, here's what you're going to say, okay? I know you're going to be like, you should like uh, have the dodo hit the eagle. We can't do this while also having the tiger hit the eagle. We have to make a choice. But we can sell you, buy you. This is more likely to keep you alive and give you a hurt trigger. Because you could get hit for like 21 easily. I think this actually makes sense. And then we're going to start buffing the saber tooth a little bit to hopefully give it a chance. We choose fun. Very true. Hey, you know what? We're very skunk proof on this build. No sweat. No sweat. Slight sweat. No sweat. It's no sweat. Get soul red. You need support. I can't fit a crow. I can't fit a crow. You need support. Pizza me. I can't believe it. We got the six. Okay. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going. We're just on the edge of our seat. They got the same build, man. Is this allowed? Oh, it's allowed. <laughs> oh, wait. Whoa, you're strong. Whoa, I'm strong? We win these? Okay, that takes us to seven. I'm just letting you know, there will be no pivots here. Although... Selling a tiger to have a level 3 octopus fit into the team. Nah, nah, nah. We'll just get an octopus from the eagle instead. It's just, it, it, it's a skill difference. I wouldn't expect you to understand. We need good foods. All I want to see is good foods. That's, that's good enough. Honestly, I don't want to have to rely on this, but sure. It's just more fun to get a level 3 octopus for free out of an eagle instead. Okay, you've, you've screwed up our team a little bit, for sure. I would not deny. But then we got some Death Touch coming up. Death Touch does not work through that. Okay, okay, you got me. But, like, if I'm going to go down, first off, I'm loving, the, I'm loving the fact that we got to a bullish threshold again. Secondly, if I'm going to lose to, like, um, big unit plus kangaroo, then I'm not going to cry about it. Why are you playing like literally like you're going out here playing 
the oldest meta of all time. I would rather just have some fun. Next time, just take a, I don't know, caterpillar puppy or something like that, as long as you're being original. <laughs>